Hi friends, it's Terry Stewart, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator. Welcome to my Stamping is Fun channel. I have another fun fold card to share with you today. This one featuring the Hearts and Kisses bundle, as well as the, the Celebration uh, Oso oh Ombre DSP. So let's get started. So here's my fun fold card featuring the Oso oh Ombre DSP and the Hearts and Kisses bundle. So the Hearts and Kisses bundle is this step stamp set with these uh, sayings and these images, uh, lips and hearts, lipstick and a swishy lipstick, I guess. And the coordinating punch, which has lips and hearts on it. These are the pieces I'll be using for this project. Some scrap white cardstock, some DSP, the Oso Ombre, a piece of window sheeting, white cardstock, an envelope, and Mary Merlot base. This is a half sheet of Mary Merlot cut at four and a quarter by 11 and a half. I'm going to score it in half at five and a half. And then I'm going to cut an inch and a half off. And then again, an inch and a half. Check out my blog, stampinghair.blogspot.com for more information about this card. The link is in the description below and you can find out how to earn a tutorial of this project and 16 other projects. And now it's time for some stamping. I'll be stamping uh, my sealed with a kiss on a piece of scrap. I'll be stamping three lip punches and doing some stamping on my envelope and my insert. For the lips, I'm using Blushing Bride, Rococo Rose, and Mary Malo. The other stamping will be done with Memento Black Ink. With my lips, I'll start with Mary Malo Ink. I'll also stamp with Rococo Rose, the same image. And then the final image in Blushing Bride. With my Roco Rococo Rose, I'm also going to stamp on my envelope and my insert. With the insert, I'm going to stamp some hearts at the bottom. With Memento Black ink, I'll be stamping on my piece of DSP and on a scrap piece of white. With this X's and O stamp, I'm stamping right across the bottom of my DSP. And then sealed with a kiss on a piece of scrap, and this will be fussy cut out. Using my heart punch, I'm gonna punch the lips. And then the final pair of lips. And this is in the Mary Malo. With my snips, I'm going to fussy cut the sealed with a kiss. This stamp was too big to show, uh, to stamp in its entirety under the window. So I'll fussy cut it and then snip it apart. Here's the completed fussy cut. And then I'll just snip it apart.
And now it's time to assemble. This piece of DSP gets layered on one of the pieces of Mary Malot cardstock. The next piece of DSP is adhered to the other piece of Mary Malot cardstock. And I'm centering this. And the final piece of DSP goes on the card base, just next to the score line. And then we can burnish the score line with the boom folder. To adhere the window sheet, I'm going to line up the bottom edge with the bottom edge of the card base. And then using my glue dots, just place three glue dots on the top edge. And place one on each end and then one in the middle. And that's so because it's a uh, window sheet, you will be able to see the adhesive and it does appear darker against the card base. So I'm trying to minimize how much uh, adhesive I use. And then once this bottom is aligned, pull the top down and adhere it. Now this piece will also uh, go on top of this window sheet. Now this is uh, Oso Ombre, so the darker side on, on here and the lighter here, so I wanna mimic that in my bottom part. And for this piece, I'm gonna use six glue dots in the same pattern, one on each end, and then one in the middle, so. And then once all the glue dots are in place, and I have my piece with the ombre, the lighter part on the right-hand side, I will line up the bottom edges and lay that right on top of the window sheet. There we go. And you can see how these, you can see the glue dots from the other side. So I was just trying to minimize how much uh, adhesive was shown. I'm gonna place dimensionals behind each of these lip punch outs. Once they have the dimensionals on them, we can dry fit them to our piece of DSP that we've stamped on. And the goal is to have these about equal distance on between each other on this piece. And once you're satisfied, then remove the backings and place them permanently. And then the final punch in place. Now this piece will be placed here and it'll have about a half inch on the top and on the sides. And because of the window and the adhesive showing off, showing possibility, showing through, I wanna be careful when I put my adhesive. So I will just place it here on the top and then very carefully at the bottom so it doesn't um, go over the window. And then with about a half inch on each side and top and bottom, You can hear this in place. We can put our uh, insert inside of our card base. And center this top and bottom. And our words will be placed over here, sealed with a 
kiss. And then, and then using my liquid glue, I'll put those in place. And then our final word, kiss. Very nice. And there you have it. This is called the floating uh, card technique. Thank you so much for joining me with this fun project. Subscribe to my channel, Stamping is Fun, so I can bring you even more fun stamping projects. So until next time, remember, stamping is fun.